Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm actually going to be talking to you guys about modders and their presence in the community. Have they gone too far this time with their new ability to kick people out of public lobbies and they they're just completely can kick people out of lobbies. So I want to talk about that. So again, if you do like the video or find the information helpful, please feel free to drop a like on the video guys. I'd really appreciate it. More importantly, subscribe to my YouTube channel down below by hitting the red button and you can catch all my daily Grand Theft Auto 5 videos. I'm also going to be uploading a second GTA 5 video today. So stick around on my channel for that that's going to be coming out in a few hours but today i want to talk about modders in grand theft auto online it seems like we're talking about that a lot recently we've been talking about that with the ufos the things in the garage uh, you know blocking people from being able to exit their garages sometimes destroying their own vehicles so Modders have gotten kind of like a bad reputation lately for some of the things they've been doing, of course, in Grand Theft Auto online sessions. Again, starting with UFOs, blocking garages, the whole rape mod controversy. And now we've kind of moved on to their ability to kick people from lobbies. And that is something that is really not good. So in order to have someone kicked from a lobby, you need to have a majority percentage from basically all the players in the lobby. And if you have 16 people, that's obviously a lot before someone can be kicked. But now these modders have the ability just completely remove someone from the game without anyone else's discretion, meaning they can completely kick them without having anyone else involved. So definitely an unfair process right there. And something I know a lot of you guys have actually been tweeting me at you saying, hey, why am I getting kicked from lobbies? I can't join public lobbies or I get in them for one second and then I'm automatically kicked. And that's probably what's happening. You guys are getting kicked because modders have the ability to do that now, which is something that's kind of unfortunate. But again, it's just part of Grand Theft Auto Online right now. So that's probably going to be my biggest thing for patch 1.17 whenever it does come out is to fix stuff like this. Uh, I'm tired of getting tweets about uh, the UFOs and the things in the garages and not that those tweets annoy me, but I'm just constantly getting them and I don't want you guys to have these issues. I want you guys to have a stress-free public lobby environment because it is fun to go in public lobbies. I say that uh, you need to avoid public lobbies at all costs and right now that's true, you know, with money drains and money lobbies and now the whole getting kicked out of lobbies it's much more convenient to play in a lobby by yourself or with friends than it is with other people and a chance of getting a modder in your lobby but public lobbies are fun you can interact with new people you can maybe find a crew that you like you can maybe find out something new about grand theft auto online that you didn't know about but right now it's just way too sketchy way too crazy way too hectic in grand theft auto online to risk any of that which is why you guys rarely ever see me in a public lobby the only time you'll ever notice me is when i'm doing races because i'm either recording for video videos or I'm recording for a squad cast or whatnot. So that's when you'll see me in these games. That's when you'll see me doing these recordings. But basically just another PSA to avoid public lobbies because they can kick you and it's it's just a mess. You don't want to deal with it. So patch 1.17, I'm definitely looking forward to having all this fixed. I'd like to return to public lobbies. I'd like to not see UFOs and trains blocking my garages and destroying my cars. So let me know what you guys think of this mess in the comment section down below. Leave a comment on whether you think modding has gone too far in Grand Theft Auto Online. And again, leave a like on the video if if you did enjoy and subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new or like daily grand theft auto 5 videos like this without well, the way guys like i said thanks for watching take care and i'll see you guys in the next video